Today on For the Love of Designing, we're going to make gloves. Okay, so when you're making gloves, you want to make sure that the material is going to stretch sideways because you don't want it to stretch this way because it'll help fit your hand better that way. I'm going to cut away the extra material that I don't really need, but I want to make sure I have enough room here for my hand. And if you have thin material, you might want to stick a piece of cardboard in between the materials so your felt pen doesn't bleed through. But since my material is kind of thick, I don't really need this. So let me show you how I do this. I've got two pieces of material here. I want the design part to be both facing inward. I want some gloves that go up to about here. So I'm gonna pull, put my hand up a little further. And if you want shorter gloves to start from here, you have to make sure your fingers are spread far enough so you can get the felt pin in there. I'm gonna go up a little higher because I have to sew it, so I want to allow a little extra room. Make sure you get way down in between the fingers. And you don't have to be perfect with the lines. When you draw around your hand, you want to make sure that you go out a little further than the fingers so that you have a little extra room to sew this material. And make sure that down here is a little bigger because you're going to have to stick your hand, your hand's going to have to go through it. Okay, so I, let's see. I always put my hand back on there just to make sure that I've got each, enough room on for both, all the fingers, a little extra room to sew. You want to make sure your material doesn't move around. So if you don't have these embroidery circles, you might want to just take and pin your material, put pins all around it so your material doesn't move around when you're sewing it. Some of you guys might want to just take it to the sewing machine. I would rather not take it to the sewing machine because I have a hard time getting the sewing machine in here because you have to turn the material as you're sewing it. I would rather hand sew it so that's why I bought these. And I had just made the material over the bottom piece. And we're not gonna worry about the wrist here. This is the part you really wanna like focus on sewing in between the fingers. So when you put this on, you don't wanna pull the material too tight because you just want the material to be natural size. I'm about ready to hand sew it. I wanna cut away this extra stuff. I don't wanna cut too much because if this happens to pop out of here, you're gonna have a hard time putting it back on. It's better to work with a little more material than less. I'm going to cut away some of this. Okay, so I'm gonna hand sew this now and I wanna double check again with my hand to make sure I have enough room over each finger and, in, and, and between every finger. So yeah, it, it looks good. I'm hand sewing it so that I can get in between the fingers because it's kind of hard to get the sewing machine through there. I've sewn it along here. When I outlined this, I made the fingers a little longer than I really wanted them. You have to make sure the inside comes to the inside of your hand. As you can tell, I kind of outlined that and now I've sewn all these, so we gotta finish sewing up right here. But I don't want my finger that long because the gloves are gonna be too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my felt pen and I'm just gonna kinda go around the finger a little more and that's where I'm gonna hand sew it. Okay, so I've finished hand sewing this and we're gonna take it out of here now. Okay, well, I guess it's a little too tight to stick my hand in there. I didn't allow myself enough room on the sides. We're only gonna take out this side to about here so that my hand can get up in there. What I didn't consider was I need to make this where the part sticks out, I need to make that a little more open where the hand can go through. So we're just gonna take it out to about here and then I'm gonna remark it. 
Okay, so we're going to sew up the sides. As you can tell, I'm, I made it a little wider here and I brought it up to about here. So as long as I can put my hand through here, that's all we really need. But I'm going to just give myself a little more extra room. So we're going to sew it up now. I'm going to go back to make sure it, it's sewn up good. So before I cut this out, I want to make sure my hand fits in there. And it looks like it does. We're going to cut it now. So here's the finished glove. What you want to do is turn it inside out. You might want to use the end of a Sharpie just to kind of poke the fingers out. Me say meow meow. If you like what you saw, please give the subscribe button a pop and check out another video here.